Hi there, my name is Professor Vincent Piazza. Thank you for choosing this course. Uh, you might be asking yourself, what is the humanities? This is a uh, brief introduction of what this course will be facing. And for humanities, we usually refer to the cultural creativity handed down from one generation to the other. This human creativity was a product of responses to conditions on Earth that have confronted people throughout history. That is, the attempt to survive by achieving harmony with nature through their inventiveness, their ingenuity. Okay, and humanities is an interdisciplinary uh, course that uses context to describe uh, the historical and cultural environment of several civilizations. Uh, this creative legacy is what our course will focus on. We'll be speaking about literature, history, and its literary evolution, some philosophy, some science, religion, music, and the visual arts. Now, the term culture, I, I use culture many times, and this course uh, that, you will be, um, that, you, that you will be taking this semester uh, will be adopting uh, this term from the Latin cultura on and on from page to page. And the term culture is important because we make wide use of it and it refers to the sum total of all things, whether it be traditions, goods, uh, symbols, and religions that people have invented and transmitted throughout history. And the course, uh, as you might imagine, uh, is based on the theme. An intro to humanities, we usually base it on a theme. Uh, and being itself thematic, it's based on the, on the identification of all those values that reveal similarities among so many different civilizations. So I think with this course, you'll form a thorough, a thorough understanding of the interrelatedness of various modes of expressions. And I want to give you a little bit of an example of what we mean by a theme-based course and how different civilizations, ethnicities throughout the world uh, share some basic similar values. Uh, for example, as, as one reads through the history of, uh, of, of, of Western humanistic achievements, it's quite clear to us that certain elements of human genius or products of human genius uh, have been identified by future generations as having a uh, surplus value, uh, meaning that they have inspired uh, generations after uh, generations. I'll give you an example here. We see behind me uh, the Pantheon in Rome. Okay, uh, the Roman uh, achievement in architecture with the dome of the Pantheon both symbolizes uh, the Romans' architectural skills as well as the dome of the Pantheon becoming a template for all uh, future domes built in the West since. Uh, for example, uh, the dome of the Pantheon uh, finds its echoes in the dome of the Cathedral Hagia Sophia built by Justinian I of Byzantine Emperor in 533, approximately 533 CE. I'll give you another example. This might be a little bit more popular. Uh, the, uh, uh, the Cathedral Dome of Florence, Santa Maria del Fiore, uh, the great dome built by Filippo Brunelleschi, completed in 1436. All the way to something very common to us, the great dome of the Capitol Building in Washington, built by Thomas U. Walter. Uh, this was completed approximately, as you can see, in the mid-1860s. This is the second of the great iron domes okay, uh, that, uh, that hovers over a capital building. So we can see how the dome, for example, this is one example that we can use uh, in a theme-based course uh, that brings together many different civilizations. Now, uh, our objective in this course would be to understand how the dome itself was interpreted by different civilizations. The difference in similarities in its function, whether it be structural, whether it be social, political, or simply religious. Uh, here's your first assignment, and, and thank you for choosing this course. And uh, in your first assignment, uh, and I would, I would like, I would like to, um, uh, to um, emphasize this, uh, you might want to create a similar example as this uh, common trait of domes throughout the world, okay, and see, or with, with, with other modes of artistic expression, okay, and how they bring different civilizations together. Thank you.